Hello guys, welcome to YouTube channel EcoX Technical Support. Today in this video, we will talk about uh, DM81 and DM81 Pro, these two models. Uh, some customer actually they send this uh, request that uh, their d uh, pushing the obstacle very hard and they cannot reverse back. One issue and the other is that uh, Sometime in the d there is totally no power, no function, whether they press the button, whether they connect with the charger, so totally there is no power. So how to settle this issue? So we will talk about these two issues uh, in this video today. So please don't skip the video and keep watching. Okay, uh, so guys, in this video I will show you that uh, I have these two d here, the customer sent here for repair actually. So one d is uh, that the customer complaining that uh, it uh, hit the obstacle very hard and then it uh, very hit something so it uh, push like this it's for example it uh, hit this thing and then push like this and cannot sometimes cannot uh, reverse back also so i will show you first in this one how i actually in this one there are bumper clips uh, broken uh, at the bump at the back side of this bumper there are clips here like this the four clips so at the back side of the clips uh, there are sensors so the bumper touch with those clips and then the clip uh, press the sensor then it works then the sensor they work and it reverse back so i will show you how the clip looks like and how we can uh, settle that issue whenever customer complain that uh, the devotes are hitting the obstacle pushing very hard and cannot reverse back which means that uh, in this model dm81 and 81 pro only in these two models that uh, the bumper clips actually break so that's why they do like this so once we remove this wire all here i show you there should be you see one sensor here one is here one is here and one is here so these two i uh, will know you easily you can understand so it should be like this so whenever the bumper hit actually this part like this then the sensor they work from here this one also is okay it's working these two okay but these two you see there are clips broken already so whenever the d -board, normally the d -board go from the right side actually along the wall like this so whenever the d -board touch with the wall or some obstacle they cannot reverse back why because when the bumper touch from this side bumper cannot press these two sensors so that's why these two sensors will not work once these two sensors will not work it means that the d -board cannot reverse back from this side whenever the d -board will hit from this side from these two like this then it can reverse only so this is the issue why the d -board cannot reverse back in this model so this one uh, normally what we do is uh, we have uh, here i show you the one broken chassis so normally what we do we change this part actually this is the chassis you can say the bottom body cover of the d -board. All the items we take out from here, we remove from the customer demo and fix in the new one here. Then only it start functioning as normal. So in this model, we have to actually we are facing this issue, but uh, like this we settle actually. And the other thing is that this model. I show you that what is the issue in this one. The customer complaining that uh, uh, totally no power. They already changed the new battery. They buy online and they replace the new battery, but still there is no power. So this one's very simple. I show you if there is no power and the battery, you confirm it's already okay, no problem. So just you put the machine upside down like this. So there are two clips here. Every battery got in this model, the M81 and 81 Pro got two clips here. Just pull up the battery, and uh, here you can see you can clean these connectors. So you see there are few battery connectors, and inside these battery connectors, they must touch with the, those clips inside. So what happens sometimes when we put the battery here so while working a little bit shaking so that is why the clips sometimes actually bend a bit so that's why those clips doesn't touch properly with these uh, uh, the battery connectors those actually is the motherboard uh, these clips attach with the motherboard so motherboard get the power from through these uh, connectors actually so what we do we can settle at home this one if it's a normal issue like this you can settle at home also just pull up these clips a little bit don't pull too much just slightly pull up 1m 2m is enough all these clips you will just pull up a little bit and make sure all uh, clips are equal in level now we put back the battery just press make sure the both locks properly locked now we see here whether got power or not 
no see i just press the button no got blue light here and the boat is on no it will function as normal <coughs> So this is the only, I mean the issue <coughs> just because the battery clips, so uh, uh, battery connectors were not touching properly with the motherboard connectors. That's why there was no power and while you put there for charge, while charging also it will keep giving you red light error. It cannot charge if the connectors are not touching properly with the battery connectors. So thank you for watching this video like this. If you follow these instructions, the uh, very simple instruction actually, you can uh, settle this type of minor issues at home also. And uh, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, so please subscribe our channel and share with your friends. Thank you very much.